Hi, today I'm going to make review of New Geosoft VCS version 3.17. Before we start, I would like to mention that you can check our previous webinars on our official YouTube page. Also in our documentation portal you can find detailed revision list of new version. I'll start off with major changes of this release. On the rate tab of rate tables section there are two new columns which represent source code and code name. This means that you can configure origin-based billing in just a second. And if you want to build calls only by destination codes, you can simply ignore SOX codes columns. Let me go one by one and introduce to you new input features. On second stage of input, there are new set of input settings. Billing increment field allows you to set the mapping of billing increment column. So, when you select it from drop-down menu, it will be automatically recognized according to the format you specified. Remove dash setting allows you to simply ignore the dash symbol in the code field. Split source code name settings allows you to split the source code name using the underscore symbol. It means that if your source code name looks like United States of America underscore Ohio, only Ohio will be used as your source code name. From now on, update code tag setting allows you to update source and destination code tags at the same time. Moreover, during rates import, in case if there's multiple sheets of single import file, you are able to select the type of each sheet. Rates sheet type is default one and is being used for pulling the destination prices. Source and destination codes sheet types are being used for filling the source and destination code tags. Another major improvement of new version is the official integration with Free Switch version 1.6. All integration details can be found in our documentation portal. Client panel now has two separate historical sections. One is for the payment history, the other one is for the charges history. Also detailed usage history section was slightly revoked. User now can see the call origin column as well as the source number column. In traffic processing section there are a new field called LMP direction. Using this field user can specify if the destination party ID or source party ID or both party IDs will be used for LMP dipping. As a part of the integration with TGA Local Number Portability Database, in addition to current TGA Routing Number Collector that changes destination party ID during LNP dip, a new TGA Owner Collector has been added. Instead of changing destination party ID, the new collector assigns the operator's name as a tag to the call during LNP dip. And the last improvement is regarding gateway section. From now on, in from path field, you are able to specify multiple from path using semicolon delimiter. Thank you for using Chairs of Billing Solutions and have a nice day.